Hey amigos, you are listening to the English Made Simple show. This is episode number 240, number 240, numero 240. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the EMS show. This podcast is for you if you want to improve your listening and speaking skills. And when I say that, I mean English listening and speaking skills because some of us, some of us still need improving with listening skills in general, like my husband, for example. Anyway, this podcast will help you with building a vocabulary of new words and it will also help you improve your pronunciation if you listen carefully. And guess what? We achieve, achieve all of this one conversation at a time. Okay. And I think I forgot something. I forgot to introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Milena and you can find me at EnglishMadeSimple.net. That's my home. That's where I live. You can check me out there. And now to start off the show, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Let's go. Do you ever wonder that, uh, you know, to speak English, you have to speak English like a native speaker? And I mean, in the sense of using the same kind of intonation of words, the same way the um, a native speaker would, you would use them. Uh, for example, you know, having the same accent as a person who was born in an English speaking country. Do you ever wonder that that is something that you should aspire to when you're learning English? Speaking just like a native speaker? To this, I say, nah, <laughs> I don't think that's right. Uh, you don't have to sound the same as a native speaker, as somebody who was born in an English speaking country. Like, for example, myself, I don't have an Aussie accent. I live in Australia. I wasn't born in Australia. I was born in Serbia, not Siberia, Serbia. <laughs> okay, so we don't have to sound like a native speaker. But what can you do instead? What can you do instead to be as close as possible to the native speaker? You can work on reducing your accents uh, to the level that is as close to that of the native speaker. You can also try to incorporate new words into your life, um, into your daily life, uh, your routine. Learn some colloquial phrases to help you fit in and integrate faster with other native speakers and other English speakers as well. I had always uh, wondered, uh, maybe some of you out there listening, maybe you are aspiring to sound more like a native speaker. And maybe you think this is a roadblock or this is an obstacle that you have to, you have to um, overcome. So I'm just here to tell you that, you know, you don't have to worry about that stuff, okay? <laughs> Uh, I kind of like uh, my accent, for example. I like foreign accents in general. There's always something interesting about the person when you hear somebody with an accent, you know, they're not a native speaker. There's always something interesting about that person. Anyway, amigos y amigas, so where am I going with this? Well, I'm trying to motivate you to not worry about your accents too much, but instead start building your vocabulary, your personal vocabulary of words and phrases to resemble how native speakers uh, talk, how they speak. Sounds good? Sounds like a plan? Cool. <laughs> Sounds easy peasy Japanesey, doesn't it? Well, great. It does sound easy, but in practice, maybe it's a bit harder. So today I want to help you with that. I want to help you uh, start uh, to build a, your own personal vocabulary of words and phrases, okay, that you can use when you're interacting with other English speakers. But those phrases are very similar to the way native speakers um, speak, okay? So in today's episode, I'm going to tell you about an ebook I created just for you, just for the listeners of the EMS show. And then later in the episode, we'll also have the repeat after me phrase as well. Alrighty, let's begin. Remember how I created that speaking challenge a couple of months ago? It, it's called the, um, the Conversata Challenge. Uh, and then later, I think later, about a month later, I found out that the majority of you 
are feeling a bit shy to do the challenge, or maybe you don't have time to do the challenge. So for those of you who are joining us for the first time, uh, the challenge was the 21 conversation status in 21 days. And you can get that challenge if you go to englishmadesimple.net slash convo, C-O-N-V-O. That's still available. You can check that out. You can download the ebook there as well and have the opportunity to join the challenge. All right. So let me start again here. All right. So back to today's episode. So I've created that a challenge, the Convo Starter Challenge, hoping that people will be really excited to join and start speaking with strangers, okay? <laughs> but after I did a survey, a short survey of my listeners, and I found out that most of you are feeling a bit shy to do the challenge, and, you know, which is understandable, but also some of you don't have the time to do the challenge. So what I've done, actually, I've created an ebook that has some really cool conversation starters uh, for you to practice by yourself uh, when you're feeling super confident, okay? When you're feeling super confident one day, you can go out and practice these conversation starters. I have also included examples inside the ebook. Um, and you should also know that this ebook comes with audio as well. So you can hear the phrases, how they're pronounced. So let's call it an audiobook. It's another EMS audiobook that I have created just for you. So inside the ebook, uh, I will walk you through each phrase. There is about 30, about 30, 30 plus conversation starters. And the book is called 30 plus conversation starters in real life with examples. Plus, you'll get five quick and easy convo starters to practice by yourselves when you're out shopping or talking to strangers in the real world. Okay, you'll get two things when you download this ebook. You can get more information about this ebook at englishmadesimple.net slash conversation. It's the whole word you need to spell now. Okay, conversation, englishmadesimple.net slash conversation. Okay, good luck spelling that. <laughs> I'll also include a link inside the description of this episode. Radio. The first part of the ebook contains 30 plus conversation starters that I have personally used myself. I have used it here in Australia. Uh, but I also I've included some examples from my friends. Okay, I've asked some uh, friends of mine to um, give me some of their conversation starters that they use when they're out, you know, doing stuff, socializing, <laughs> talking to other people. And they were really kind enough to share their examples as well. So I've included that inside the audiobook. Now, do some of you feel scared when I say a conversation starter? Do you feel like, mm, oof, what does that look like? I have to speak in English the whole time. Hmm. What you should know is that we use conversation starting phrases when we are curious about something or when we are feeling social and we are in the mood to make new friends or we use conversation starters when we need help, when we are asking for help. That's important to know. A conversation starter doesn't mean I'm going to sit down with you and I'm going to talk with you for an hour. Okay. It doesn't mean that. It is actually a very quick conversation. That is the whole point. Let me give you an example. Maybe that's going to clear it up for you. So here is an example of a simple conversation starter. Imagine you're at a bus stop and you are looking around, looking around, and you see some people at the bus stop. And then you approach somebody and you say, excuse me, do you know when the next bus is coming? So that's one question you've asked somebody. Do you know when the next bus is coming? Then you get a response from that person that you just asked. And then you reply to them. Thank you very much. Okay. Easy. Sounds easy. You see, it's not too complicated. Maybe it starts to get complicated when they ask you back. I don't know. Do you know when the next bus is coming? <laughs> then you have to think about it. Okay. Uh, so don't think that you have to engage in a full-blown conversation with other people. This is a quick, um, you're having like a quick conversation with somebody. It's not even small talk because with small talk, you could go into a bit more detail. 
So this is what I mean by conversation starter. You just need to ask a question. Being curious. We simply ask questions because we are curious about something. We want to make friends or we are asking for help. That's when you have to know those conversation starters. That's when we start to make conversation. And if it goes somewhere, if people start asking you questions back, you can engage in small talk. We won't go into that now. For now, I just want you to start practicing conversation starters. Again, you can go to englishmadesimple.net slash conversation to buy the book. It's another audiobook from EMS and it's just for EMS listeners. That's why I have this special link, englishmadesimple.net slash conversation. That link is reserved for listeners of the show. That will give you a bit of practice um, to spell the word conversation as well. Okay, <laughs> You have to spell it out. Uh, C-O-N-V-E-R-S-A-T-I-O-N. Okay, That's your lesson. You have to spell this word. I should also add to this um, that the examples that I share inside the book are really good for IELTS listening. If you're about to do an IELTS exam, for example, most of the questions inside IELTS listening part of the exam are, you know, people making small talk or starting conversations or starting conversations at a library, at a gallery. It's something like that. It, it's, it's always like uh, two people talking. So this book would be perfect for you if you're about to do IELTS and you need a bit of practice with the listening part of the IELTS exam. This book has phrases that are used in various different contexts, okay, uh, at a bus stop, at a gallery, at a bakery, and so on. So you will be building a new vocabulary of words that you can also apply in your IELTS exam, okay. Great. Now, if you have any questions about the book, you can always contact me directly at this email, Milena, my first name, at englishmadesimple.net. I personally read and reply to every email. I try to do it in the same day, so please be patient with me. If, I don't, if you don't hear from me within 24 hours, I will reply to you nonetheless. Now, before we wrap up today's show, amigos y amigas, I want to ask you to repeat after me. Okay, it's the repeat after me segment of the show. So the repeat after me phrase today is, do you know when the next bus is coming? Do you know when the next bus is coming? Awesome. Thanks for joining me in today's episode, amigos y amigas. Don't forget to visit englishmadesimple.net slash conversation to buy the audiobook about conversation status. Thanks again. You've been an amazing audience and you've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Mm -hmm.